Hey everybody, welcome back with a new video. I'm Jamie and this is Film Empire. Now, sorry for not uploading a video on Monday. I was quite busy with learning for a test week that I'm uh, currently having. Um, so this video will substitute the video that was supposed to go up on Monday. Um, anyway, today I will be talking about the new features that have been added in HitFilm Pro and HitFilm Express version 10. So let's start right after the intro. Now the new features in version 10 are both implemented in HitFilm Pro and in Express. So the things that you'll hear in this video are in both versions. Now the update to version 10 does not have as many features as in the previous updates that we've seen, but the few things that have been updated are truly very great. Now this update is mostly focused around uh, improvements for the text engine in HitFilm, which is something that the community has talked about for a very long time. So let's start. Now an issue that has been very prevalent in the past was the lack of support for foreign text characters and you can now type in Arabic or other foreign languages and the letters should format correctly now. Also you do not have to create a text box with pre-specified dimensions anymore as the box now scales with the text itself. This removes the hassle of guessing the right size of the box and then centering the text inside the box itself. The text tab now also has a lot of new paragraph controls to make formatting of text easier, such as alignment and indentation controls. The last new text feature is the updated kerning of fonts, also known as the character spacing. Now, um, in the past, it sometimes was the case that some of the characters would space a little bit weird and um, you would get uneven text, which is not something that you want. And the kerning now has been updated so that that does not happen anymore. Next up is the update that HitFilm's pre-made transitions are not limited to five seconds anymore. And this is great as it allows for longer fades instead of having to keyframe the opacity of clips and that kind of nonsense. Also, if you now want to resize the duration of a transition, it resizes in both directions instead of only one, which is very nice because in the past it would only uh, resize in one direction and then you also had to resize the other direction which was uh, a really big hassle but now that is uh, just just improved so these are the main updates in HitFilm Pro and Express version 10. I've linked some articles in the description which also list all of the bug fixes in the software. So if you want to see everything that has been changed, uh, go to the links in the description. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye bye. Hi there, thanks for watching. Click here to see my latest video, click here to see a highlighted one and click here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.